Former President Trump took the fifth today at his deposition with the New York Attorney General's office. The probe is part of a long-running civil investigation which began in 2019 into his company's real estate dealings. CBS 2's Naomi Ruckham live outside the AG's Manhattan office with the latest. Naomi? Maurice and Christine, legal experts, agree that pleading the fifth was likely the best option for the former president as he faces multiple investigations and could dig himself into deeper trouble. Here in New York, the allegations are that he made his golf courses and other real estate seem more valuable than they actually were. Former President Trump gave a thumbs up on the way to his deposition at the New York Attorney General's office, where he declined to answer questions under oath. Mr. Trump released a statement about invoking his right against self-incrimination, saying in part, when your family, your company, and all the people in your orbit have become the targets of an unfounded, politically motivated witch hunt, you have no choice. In the past, he'd said only guilty people lead the fifth, what he's trying to do is diffuse one of those costs, which is making him look bad, making him look guilty, um, and making him look like a hypocrite. The civil investigation, led by Democrat Letitia James, is looking into whether the Trump Organization inflated the values of multiple real estate properties to get favorable loans and tax deductions. The AG's office says it's collected substantial evidence that could support a lawsuit against Mr. Trump or his company. Former President Trump has also been lashing out about a separate federal probe into whether he illegally took classified material from the White House when he left office. In an extraordinary move Monday, the FBI searched the former president's home in Mar-a-Lago, seizing boxes and paper documents, some of which are believed to contain classified information. President Trump's lawyers have suggested, without proof, the FBI may have planted evidence, and Republican allies are calling for transparency. This raises serious questions again about the Biden administration politicizing and weaponizing law enforcement. Wednesday, President Biden ignored questions about the FBI's actions. Are you confident to go to the White House officials maintain Mr. Biden had no prior knowledge of the search. The attorney general's office has said they are nearing the end of their investigation, and today's testimony was supposed to be one of the final missing pieces before closing the book in this case. Meantime, also happening this week, a federal appeals court has signed off on allowing the request of the former president's tax returns. Maurice? Hey, Naomi, thanks so much.